I get a call from our sergeant. Something suspicious happened at Exxon gas station. We're gonna get right to that Michigan mom who vanished. A massive hunt for her right now. Everybody was asking, where is Jessica? What happened to Jessica? Have you seen Jessica? Can you find Jessica? And she's just a hard working girl. She just needs to come home. You start to piece together that something violent happened in this location. She saw this silver minivan. She thought it was kind of weird. What these two individuals were witnessing in that parking lot was the abduction of Jessica Herringer. But that wasn't their only mystery to solve when a different crime comes into play. Oh my gosh, who can do this? Oh, who can hit a woman and just leave her? To this young mother on a run being shot and killed. This was at close range. This was certainly execution style. Here we have two females. One's missing, one's deceased. And one other who lived to tell. And he's just staring at me the entire time. And I'm like, let me out, let me out, let me out. At what point do you realize you're in real trouble and that you could die? This is Muskegon in West Michigan. Just south is the small community of Norton Shores, beach towns on the sunset coast of Lake Michigan. I describe Muskegon as sort of a microcosm of the state of Michigan. Uh, we have our urban areas, our suburban areas, and then the eastern part and northern part of our county is more rural. Norton Shores is a nice community on the southern edge of our county. It's one of the most beautiful areas of West Michigan because it's right near Lake Michigan. So that's the big draw is our lakeshore. Just absolutely gorgeous. I have a lot of pride of coming from Muskegon County. I think it's just a really great place to live in and grow up in. But a series of apparently unconnected crimes began to sow fear into this quiet community. It all begins in the final hour of an April night when a young woman named Jessica Herringa simply vanished, swallowed up, or so it seemed, in a mystery as vast and deep as the big lake itself. It's April 26, 2013 in Norton Shores, Michigan at the Exxon station on East Sternberg Road. 25-year-old Jessica Herringa is supposed to be inside closing up. That night I needed gas, so I stopped right here. It's the closest place from my employment. She pulled up to the gas station, noticed the door was open, and looked inside, and there was no Jessica Herringa. It's very strange that there's no one here. That's what alerted the police as a customer came in and realized that there was nobody in the store. Ms. Vegan 911, where's your emergency? Um, I don't know if it's an emergency. I just got to work. I'm at the Exxon gas station on Sternberg Road, and there's nobody here. It just it is very suspicious why there's nobody here. There was nobody that would answer, so I looked around the store. And what did you see when you looked around the store? I went into the bathroom. I looked around. There was really no disturbance, just nobody there. So did you yell or anything? Or? Yeah, I hollered, hey, I, you know, walked around the building. But I don't see anybody, hon. I walked inside and, hey, hey, is anybody here? Um, I even went inside the cooler and looked inside there and um, seen nothing abnormal. But in my gut said something's not right. I just, you know, I'm just concerned that nobody's heard or why. She has a young son that she's raising, and um, she was working hard trying to get extra hours at the gas station um, because of financial problems. And so she was covering anybody who needed a time off, she covered their shifts, and um, that, that was her only job. And she was there by herself. The ironic thing is that she really wasn't scheduled to work the day that she disappeared. She actually had taken over a shift from somebody. Did Jessica ever express concerns about feeling unsafe at work? Never. Never. Not at once. She likes working there. 
So North Shore's Police Department responded. At the time, uh, the head of detectives was a gentleman by the name of Mike Casher. I get a call from our sergeant. Something suspicious happened at the uh, um, Exxon gas station. It was about a mile, mile and a half away from my house. From the crime scene photographs, when you take a first glance, the inside of the store didn't look as though it had been disturbed. Uh, there didn't look like there had been a big struggle. There was no real crime scene. They find nothing. In fact, that's what's so weird. It's so undisturbed. All the cleaning supplies and things were out, so it appeared that she had been cleaning and finishing up for the night. And they go back into the storeroom, and they, they find uh, a cash register drawer with all the money, all the cash, all the change still intact. It didn't appear that she just grabbed her stuff and left. Her purse was still there with her, her jacket. Cigarettes, lighter, still there. Inside that purse uh, was a wallet. Uh, and it contained the identifying information for Jessica Herringa. Within that wallet, there was about $400 in cash, seemingly undisturbed. Her car was still parked out front. Whatever happened in this store, robbery was not the intent. There was really no explanation as to what happened to her. It was almost like she just left, disappeared. Now is beginning the investigation into uh, Jessica's disappearance. Police tonight say they have evidence that backs up their theory that a Norton Shores woman was abducted from the gas station where she worked. I'm Juliette Dragas. The news starts in one minute. It sounded very odd, you know, that she just disappeared. So we all wondered what is going on here. At the time, that location did not have a camera system or anything no security cameras, and I don't think she should have been working by herself. And I used to talk to her about it and, you know, and ask her about it. And of course, you know, 25 years old, you think you're invincible. My goal was right at the beginning is to establish a timeline because I figured it would help us at some point. So about 10.52, we had a woman who had went in and purchased a cigarette lighter. And that was the last person to see Jessica alive. The last sale that was recorded here was at 10.52. You were here at the gas station like 11.07, 11. 11.07, 11. 11 11.08. 11.07, he pulls up. He doesn't see anybody. So sometime between 10.52 and 11.07, we have her missing. And that was the, the start, if you will, of what turned into be a, a very public and national cold case. Police continue to search for a missing woman from Norton Shores. The biggest story in all of West Michigan for months and months and months. The first big break is a page out of Agatha Christie. As they look and they keep looking, they see a drop of blood. Then a woman who worked another shift at the gas station approaches detectives. She and her husband saw this silver minivan back behind the Exxon gas station. She thought that was strange. Played an extremely important role helping to move the initial investigation forward. A drop of blood, a silver minivan, and one more small caliber clue. The search for Jessica Herringer ricochets in a totally different and dire direction. We are now prepared to reclassify this case as an abduction. 